I'm Mandy. And I'm Andrew. And we're Mischief and Sunshine. At Mischief and Sunshine, we make home hydroponic systems. Like Isabel here, which is a home hydroponic garden that lets you enjoy fresh fruits and vegetables year round. So the Isabel is our first home hydroponic system and we designed it to be super flexible. That means it's small, you can fit it up against a wall. We have a horizontal light system, which is a really good solution for something indoors. And you can build it into something custom. And we have a really good example in Andrew's bedroom. What I really love about that is being able to wake up in the morning and see my plants growing. And especially we like growing what we can't get at the grocery store. Yeah, Andrews are really into like heirloom seeds right now and we're discovering new things. But I really like having the plants around so I can cook with them. So I can just come over and grab something right away and put it into my meal. So if you're thinking about buying a hydroponic tower or DIYing one yourself, we're going to show you how we built Isabel right now. Let's do it. Step one. Find the right spot. Isabel is designed to fit in small spaces. So you're looking for a space that's at least 15 3 quarter inches wide, seven and a half feet tall, and has about 16 inches of clearance from the wall so you can hang some lights. The best place for your Isabel is gonna be somewhere you're gonna see it every day, but it's not gonna be in the way. You'll need access to power and have the ability to anchor into the wall. Because there's water involved, we recommend you set up Isabel on a solid surface floor. We also don't recommend you use the Isabel outdoors, because the water for hydroponic plants needs to be relatively consistent and that's just hard to do outside. Step two. Get your tools. So we're gonna need scissors or wire cutters. A mallet. A pencil. Drill with a quarter inch bit. Safety glasses. Crescent wrench. Most importantly, a friend. A friend. A friend. Step three. Check the parts list. It's a good idea to lay everything out in the beginning just so you know that you have everything you need. It's also a good idea at this point to give the instructions a quick read through so you know what's coming up. Step four. Build the base. We recommend laying the pieces out on the floor first according to the diagram. Then it's really easy to just take your mallet and bang these pieces together. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in as long as at the end it looks like the picture. You notice we're pounding these together to pressure fit everything as tightly as possible because we don't want it to leak. One way we can mitigate leaks is using plumber's tape, which we've included for you in the box. If plumber's tape doesn't work, you can also go ahead and cement the connection. In our apartments, we haven't cemented anything together because we like being able to take everything apart to clean it, and we haven't had any leak issues. But if you have leaks, the way to fix it 100% for sure is with PVC cement. Next, we're gonna attach the legs to the base. Thread one of the long zip ties through the hole in the top of the leg. Wrap that zip tie around the base of the PVC and just secure it loosely for now. We don't want to pull it too tight yet. We will tighten everything up once we get the towers built and everything pushed up against the wall. Step six. Build the top. So just like when we built the base, it's a good idea to lay out the fittings on the floor first so they match the diagram. This is the section of the tower that handles all of the water pressure, so we want to make sure that all of these joints are good and snug. We recommend wrapping the ends of the connections in plumber's tape or using PVC cement to prevent all leaks. We're going to use some simple zip tie mounts to secure Isabel to the wall. We'll first hold the base up to the wall about where it's going to go and then make a mark on the top and the bottom of each pipe. After you take the base away from the wall, place an X right in the middle of those two marks you made. To secure the zip tie mounts to the wall, we'll first need to make a quarter inch hole in the wall with your drill. Then we'll take the little plastic drywall anchor and we'll push it into those holes we just drilled. Next, we'll take the zip tie mount, thread the screw first. Sometimes it helps to give it a little spin so it starts. And then we'll screw that into the drywall anchor we just put on the wall. Now 
Next, we're gonna build the main part of Isabel, which are the towers. Basically, all you have to do to build the towers is take one YT and one five inch PVC section and pound them together and keep doing that until you have eight layers. Isabel isn't likely to leak around these connections because these pipes aren't handling a lot of water pressure. They're this size specifically because we have to accommodate how big the roots are, but the water is really just trickling past them. You'll notice that if you're pounding these together vertically, as you get toward the top, the tower might start to bend a little bit because you've got so many connections. We actually just recommend that you lay everything on the ground horizontally once you've got it connected. There should be a section of PVC on the bottom and a YT on the top. Just like we measured for the base zip tie mounts, we have to do the same thing with the towers. So grab your friend and have them hold the base in place while you take just one tower and approximate where it's going to go on the wall. Count up between the fifth and sixth YT and just make a little mark to the left and right of the pipe. So do this for both sides and then make an X in between your marks. Grab your drill and a quarter inch bit and just like for the bottom, make a small hole at each one of the marks. Then push in your drywall anchor, find the zip tie mount, thread the screw through and screw it to the wall. Grab four of the long zip ties and thread them through the mounts. The upper ones should be horizontal to wrap around the PVC towers, and the lower ones should be vertical to wrap around the base. After you've got the zip ties connected, on the top we need to add a couple of spacers. So these are just small sections of PVC that help to keep the tower away from the wall and the water flowing in there correctly. Now it's finally time to connect everything. So we're going to attach the top and bottom to the towers and make a big rectangle. Uh, what we recommend is do this on the floor, don't try to do it vertically. This is the best opportunity for you to get all of the fittings as tight as possible. So use a friend or a baseboard to make sure all those connections are really tight. Step 14. Connect the nozzle to the top. There are two of these black fittings and they're exactly the same. Take one and twist it up into the PVC connection. Now that we've screwed on the nozzle, we need to attach the hose. The fit is really snug, so make sure you get the hose pushed all the way up onto the bar. Add one of the small zip ties just to make sure that the hose doesn't slip off. Now that we have the entire Isabel built, we can put it up against the wall. After you raise it up, flip it around, make sure that the YITs are facing out, lower the legs. It's a good idea to have your friend help you here. And tighten the zip ties. We'll check the tower for leaks before we tighten the zip ties all the way. Find the other black nozzle, just like we used with the top, and screw it into the top of the pump. Fill your bucket halfway with tap water. This is what we'll use to test for water pressure and leaks. So there are two pieces to the downspout, and there are really any number of ways you can attach it. Essentially what we need to do is get the water from the bottom of the tower into the bucket. So whichever way that works with the way your bucket is positioned is correct. As long as the water is going into the bucket. 
Once you've got your pump in your bucket, go ahead and slide the hose onto the nozzle just like you did with the top and thread the power cord out through the notch in the side of the lid. Be safe. Before you plug in your pump, make sure there's no water where it shouldn't be. So we recommend that you run your Isabel for about 15 minutes with this tap water. This removes any of the debris from the manufacturer and it allows you to see where those leaks are going to be before you have your plants in the system. No any connections that are leaking. Don't try to fix those while Isabel is still connected to the wall. We've included some extra zip ties, take it down, and we recommend wrapping those connections in plumber's tape first. Try it again if there's still a leak. Uh, it'd be kind of unusual, but that's a time to explore PVC cement. After you've fixed any leaks, go ahead and secure all six zip ties around the Isabel, four on the base and two on the upper towers, and secure your lid. interested in getting an Isabel for yourself, we sell those in our Etsy shop along with our lighting system. If you're looking for how to grow well in a hydroponic system, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. We'll be posting regular how-to videos to help you get the most out of Isabel. And be sure to just shoot us your questions when you have those because we'll go ahead and answer them for you. And that's it. Look out for new things. Oh, we did it, man. We did it.